This short text animation was done using Animax and during the next couple of minutes, I'll show you how. Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. Before I jump right into the blend file, let me quickly show you where to get Animax. Just head over to the good old Blender market, search for Animax and there you go. Yes, it is a paid add-on, but for what it does, it's super cheap, in, in my opinion. And now let's dive into the animation. As you can see, I already prepared this little scene here for us. Random rotation, surprise, surprise. This is just a very basic Blender text element. I can hop into edit mode and change the text if I want. I don't want to, so back into object mode and I am working with the EV engine for this tutorial video and I activated ambient occlusion and bloom. I lowered the threshold from 0.8 I think is the default uh, to 0.6 just to make it more bloomy and uh, I also activated motion blur. Yeah, that's it engine wise and uh, the camera here it is is set to 50 millimeters and the depth of field is set to an f-stop of two that's the camera let's move on to my lights um, what I like to do by the way is I like to create individual collections for everything that's in my scene for instance, here I have my camera collection. So every camera in the scene is in that collection. I do have um, my text collection and the lights collection, of course. And what's pretty handy is this little three here shows me exactly the number of lights that are in this collection. Small, but pretty welcome feature. Okay, here I have my backlight. Let me turn it on and off for you. Um, I have this bottom light here, that's an area lamp and last but not least I have my main light source, also an area lamp that is it for the lighting. Which means it's finally time to bring up Animax and to bring up this panel and there it is. I click on this plus to add a collection, in this case my text collection, okay. And now I can start animating. Here are some presets that I can choose from. And let me scrub through this scene. This is the spiral effect. Right now the whole text comes in at once. Let's try out this one. Pretty robotic movement. Um, popcorn. I like this one a lot. That's a nice movement, I would say, but still a little bit boring. We can do better, I think. Let's delete this collection and under the split tab, we can now select our text and then separate the letters. That sounds cool. Let's do it. NMX now creates a new collection for me. I call that one letters. Okay, and boom, there we have all the individual letters in this one collection. Pretty cool. And just in case I screw this up and need to start over again, my original text is still here. Animax just hided it from the viewport and from the render. All right, now that we know that nothing can go wrong, at least not horribly, <laughs> I would say let's move on with this new collection. Back into the animate tab, I add the letters collection and choose my popcorn effect. And whoa, right off the bat you can see there's a lot more going on right now. That's a nice animation, right? One more time. Yes, 
this is looking good. And this is also a very good example for the power of Eevee, I think. Let's take this frame. The R is perfectly in focus while the rest is out of focus and the motion blur is working, the bloom, and this is almost real time. Eevee is just amazing. Okay, let's now speed things up. We just need to change the duration here and voila, we have a much quicker animation. And yeah, you guessed right. We can also fake some slow motion movement. Like so. Come on, this is already looking super, super nice. Okay. Now, let me show you how you can make your text disappear. Just change this from in to out. And now it's the other way around. Easy, right? Also, we can change the scale if we like to or the rotation. No problem. And then it's also possible to animate the text in or out via the time control function, which gives you a lot more flexibility. Let's try this. I move to frame one and now I let the text disappear. Boom. While hovering over the time control slider with my mouse, I press I to add a keyframe. There it is on frame one. And now let me jump a few frames forward, frame 50. And now I type in zero. There is my text. I to add another keyframe. And this is my animation now. Nice. Now let's move a few frames forward again. I set another keyframe. And then one last keyframe that makes everything disappear again. I. And this is the animation. Very nice. And if you have some experience using Blender, this is super easy to do. Fine. Here I have a second example for you. Same text, different method. Random rotation comes in. Let me quickly turn on the viewport chaining for this scene. Yeah, better. What happened here? Um, of course, you can see that I changed the light. Now I don't have this bluish light from the back. Instead, I use a fiery red light, which looks really sick if you ask me. Also, I used the self fracture add on that can be found under the quick effects right here. If you don't see it in your version of Blender, you have to turn it on first. Preferences, add ons, and here you can search for self fracture. You can see mine is turned on. Turn yours on. And from there on, you will find it under the quick effects. The self fracture add on created this new collection for me. I conveniently gave it the name Fractured. And in here, I have all the individual pieces. I then added this fractured collection to my Animax list. And then I created a custom effect. That is also not very complicated to do. I just played around with the sliders and buttons for five, six, maybe eight minutes. And this is what I came up with. Yeah, that's how I use Animax. It kind of gives me the feeling of working with Element in After Effects. Easy to use and the results look pretty cool in just a couple of clicks. And that is it for this week. As always, I really hope you liked it. If so, thank you very much. Until next time, stay safe, stay motivated and bye for now.